Hi, I'm Mrs. Vanneman. I'm the freshman and sophomore counselor at Claremore High School. We held our second ZAP enrollment meeting on Wednesday, February 10th. Um, so I'm going to go over the information that was presented by the ZAP advisors on that day for any students who were unable to be there. Get it pulled up here. Okay. As I said, we had our meeting on uh, the 10th to pick our core classes. We will meet again on March 3rd for selection of electives. And then on March 25th, the ZAP advisor will meet with the student and the parent up here at the high school. You can um, schedule your appointment. It's from 4 to 8 p.m. You can schedule those appointments on my conference time. Go to myconferencetime.com backslash Claremore High School, find your ZAP advisor's name, click on it, fill out the information, and click on the sign up now to schedule the appointment. You can also email the ZAP advisor directly um, if you can't get into the My Conference Time to schedule the appointment that way. You will receive a postcard confirming the ZAP enrollment appointment time, and that'll be mailed out prior to March 25th. We typically mail those out the week before spring break. Um, please make sure that your address is correct, that the school has the correct address for you because we get those addresses off of Wingage. And if that has not been updated in Wingage, um, we aren't going to have a correct address. So a copy of this form should have been uploaded into your Zap Google Classroom for you to use. You can print it off and use it to write down, it's a practice form for the for pre-enrollment, and it's what you're gonna to use to write down um, what your course requests are. You'll bring that with you on March 25th to go over with your ZAP advisor and your parent, and for your parent to sign off on it. This is just an example of what one looks like when it's all filled out, and the schedule that's generated from the course requests that were listed on there, just to kind of give you a visual of of what it's what it'll look like. Um, this is about schedule changes. So when the master schedule for the high school is constructed, it is based on the course request that the students receive. So when Dr. Hindenburg and Mrs. Garut sit down to figure out um, how many classes they're going to have of, of what on the master schedule, they use the course requests to guide that. So that's how they know how many Art One classes they need or how many male fitness classes they need based on how many students have requested that. So it is very important that when you do your course requests, you are writing down classes that you truly want to take um, because we will not change your schedule if you just changed your mind. And that is because, it, like I said, the master schedule is based on the course requests that were made. So it, it really skews the classes when we have a bunch of students that sign up for, say, pre-AP English and then decide they don't want to do that much work. So they just want the on-level English. Well, then we end up with a bunch of pre-AP English classes that don't have very many students in them and a bunch of on-level English classes that are over full, which is not fair to anybody. So make sure when you're writing down your course selections that you're truly writing down the classes that you want to take. You should have a teacher recommendation form um, that your ZAP advisor has for you. This is a form that your teachers at the junior high filled out recommending placements in your English science and math class classes. Um, and if there were any special like reading improvement or English um, language skills classes that you needed. You're going to use this to guide your selection um, on, on what you should take, what level you should take for each of those classes. This form was also uploaded to your Google Classroom. These are the core classes. Um, so freshmen have probably more required classes than any other class. So you're going to have um, four, possibly five lines of your eight classes filled out on that pre-enrollment form with just your core classes. 
This is a guideline for your math enrollment. So if you are in pre-algebra right now at the high school, your algebra one will take up two lines of that pre-enrollment form. It will take up, because you, you will take beginning algebra one and intermediate algebra one. As we talked about before, algebra one is the exception to the semester class. Algebra one is slowed down a little bit more, so you actually take that all year long. You take beginning algebra one in the fall, intermediate algebra one in the spring, so it takes up two lines on your pre-enrollment form. If you are in algebra one right now and successfully completing it, then you will take either um, geometry, honors geometry, or algebra two, honors algebra two. You can take either one of those. Um, I would say if you're in algebra one right now, you probably should be shooting for the honors level for the geometry and algebra two. You can take both geometry and algebra two your freshman year. You would take one, one semester, one the opposite semester. You don't have to take both. What I always tell students is if you are wanting to take both geometry and algebra two in one year so that you open up your schedule later on for some additional math classes that we offer, some of the higher level ones like statistics and pre-calc and calc, good idea to go ahead and knock those out in one year. If you are wanting to take them both in one year so that you get done with your math credits, math credits faster and don't have to take another math for junior and senior year, that's not a good idea. Um, if you are planning on going on to college, um, it's not good, it, it, it's not advisable to go a year or two whole years without a math class and then have to enter college and pick up that math again. It'll be difficult. Um, so we don't recommend that. You have to have three math classes during grades nine through 12. So if you are in pre-algebra right now, your required math classes will be beginning algebra, will, will be algebra one, geometry, and algebra two. If you are in algebra one right now, you still have to have three high school math classes. So you get credit for algebra one, you do get high school credit for algebra one. It does show up on your transcript but you still have to take three math classes at the high school. So you still have to take geometry, algebra two, and then a higher math class, which can be algebra three, statistics, um, any of those higher level maths that we offer here. Traditional or virtual? Whoops. Um, so our goal next year is to have all Claremore High School students back in traditional learning in the fall. However, we do understand that there may be certain circumstances that warrant the virtual option. The virtual option will still be available, um, but we want you to carefully consider that. And one thing that we want you all to understand is that virtual classes at the high school are all done through Edgenuity Online. They are not done through Google Classroom. I know at the junior high, you had the option of Edgenuity or Google Classroom. And um, from what I understand, most pick the Google Classroom distance learning type thing. Um, and that's not an option here at the high school. If you are all virtual at the high school, you are doing your classes all on Edgenuity. And we can have a conversation about that one-on-one um, -on, -one on Zap enrollment night. You can have that conversation with your Zap advisor. I'm certainly happy to answer questions or, or have a conversation with you regarding that also. Um, our next ZAP will be March 3rd. As I said, we'll focus on pre-enrolling in the elective classes at that time. After March 3rd, um, on March 3rd, you will take home all of the information that we have been going over with you during these meetings. You'll take that home, show it to your parents, have your parents um, look over it, kind of go over your course requests with them, so that when you come up here on the evening of March 25th and meet with your ZAP advisor, you kind of already have discussed that and you can, your ZAP advisor can answer any questions and then the parent will sign off on it at that time. Course description books um, are located on the Claremore Schools app and on the school website. You'll click on, um, once you're in the high school in either of those, you'll click on documents, then enrollment and find the tab for course offerings and descriptions. The new one is not posted right now, but it will be um, within the next week or so. Nothing went home again today. I'm gonna back up a little bit to the pre-enrollment form here. 
So on your pre-enrollment form, you are going to um, write down for this zap, you're going to write down your core classes. So on line one, under class name, everybody will write down Oklahoma history slash geography. That's your freshman history requirement. Everybody is required to take it. There is no option for an honors or pre-AP on that. It's just Oklahoma history slash geography. And it goes on one line. They're both block classes. You take one one block, one the opposite block. So they take up one of your lines on there for a semester. On line two, you're going to write down either English one or pre-AP English one. Everybody's required to take English one. You have the option of taking the online English one or the pre-AP English one. If you um, are good at English, if you have fairly good grades in English, you like English, I would encourage you to try the pre-AP English one um, and go for a little bit more challenging class on that. On line three, if you are in physical science right now as an eighth grader, you will write pre-AP biology on that line. If you are a freshman taking biology, um, we require that you take the pre-AP biology instead of the on-level biology. The reason for that is if you're taking physical science as an eighth grader, you've kind of been identified already as someone who excels in science. And so um, we want you taking the pre-AP biology here at the high school. If you are currently in physical science and really struggling, so you're taking physical science as an eighth grader, you're not doing well at all, you do have the option of taking honors physical science here at the high school. So it's a repeat of physical science, but it's a little bit um, higher level class than what you're in right now. So it's not exactly the same, um, but that will help you um, kind of move along a little bit better if you're struggling in physical science right now. If you are in earth science right now or eighth grade general science, um, you are going to write down on line three either physical science or honors physical science. Again, if you're doing well in your eighth grade science, um, getting good grades, enjoy science, I would encourage you to go for the honors physical science and kind of challenge yourself a little bit in that. Um, but on line three, you will write either physical science or honors physical science. So line four and five is for your math. If you are in pre-algebra right now in eighth grade, on line four, you will write beginning algebra one. On line five, you will write intermediate algebra one. Because as I said, algebra one takes up two of your lines. You take that all year long. If you're currently in algebra one, you are going to write on line four, geometry or honors geometry, whichever one um, you decide to do. And again, if you're in Algebra 1 right now, I would encourage you to go ahead and, and choose the honors option. Um, a little bit more challenging. And then on line five, if you plan on taking both geometry and Algebra 2, you would write Algebra 2 or honors Algebra 2. Um, and once again, if you want to take those because you want to continue taking some higher math classes your junior, senior year, I would encourage you to do both of those in one year. Um, if you are not wanting to take those higher math classes, if you're really just interested in getting your math credits done and that's it, then I would just take one of those. Um, we recommend geometry if you're only taking one because geometry is what you will see when you take your pre-ACT. You'll take a pre-ACT your freshman and sophomore year. Geometry is what you'll see on the pre-ACT, so geometry will help you um, with that. So you will only have either four or five lines completed on this form today. As I said, next time we'll work on electives, and you will get to um, kind of look through the course description book. We'll have a sheet that has what your elective options are for freshmen, and you can, you can pick those, and we'll work through those. Okay, let me get back to this here. So again, if you have questions, um, feel free to reach out to me. You can call me here at the high school. Um, my number is 918-923-4211 and my extension is 3009. Or you can email me um, at cvanaman, vanaman is V-A-N-A-M-A-N, 
at claremore.k12.ok.us. You can also reach out to uh, Ms. Kenyon or Ms. Warren at the junior high, and they can help direct you um, to answer any questions that you have. Our next meeting will be on March 3rd, and we will see you then.